All right, hey everybody, it is Tony and I am back. I have four TTMs for you. It's been a very busy couple of weeks, so sorry I haven't been able to get to these videos as much as I would like, but I have four TTMs, and the first one comes from San Bernardino, California, postmarked on the 14th of September, signing two or two and answering a question. I asked him, between Fenway and Wrigley, did you have a preference? And he said, Fenway, here he is, signing the 1977 and 1978 tops, and it is... Fred Kendall, father of Jason Kendall, a Cleveland Guardians legend, setting the 1978 Tops card. The next one from Charlotte, North Carolina, also signing 2 a 2, a two time Super Bowl champion. And he, he won Super Bowl 21 and again Super Bowl 25. Defensive back, Perry Williams. Uh, other than being a Super Bowl champion, don't know a ton about him, but very happy to get Mr. Perry Williams back. The next one from Cleveland, Ohio. Postmarked September 19th. Signing 2 a 2 on the 1981 and the 1982 Fleer cards. Or Wagner. I uh, asked him a question. He did not respond. But you know what? Those things happen. These guys get inundated with uh, with autograph requests. And they don't have a lot of time to respond to every question that we ask. And that is quite okay. Um, he played his minor league ball. Let me flip this one over. If it'll... If it'll uh, work for me. Uh, but anyway, he played two seasons in Evansville for the Tigers AAA team at the time. And I asked him about playing at Bossy Field. And uh, Bossy Field is the third oldest ballpark that is still in use behind Fenway and Wrigley. And it was the home of the uh, one of the teams in a league of their own. And so they filmed the World Series for a league of their own at that stadium. The Penny Marshall movie. Great movie. The final one. Coming from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Signing 2 a 2 on the 1982 Fleer and the 1984 top. Second time that I've gotten this back. This guy back. The others are all first timers. Here he is. Former Pittsburgh Pirate, Johnny Ray. I didn't like, um, I, don't, I don't think he had a 1981 Fleer, or if he did, it, uh, wasn't, it wasn't very good to get an autograph in, and I thought this one was pretty solid. Um, got the light background uh, on a yellow jersey, thought it worked. So, And then the 1984 All-Star card for Johnny Ray. So those are my TTMs. Thank you for watching, everybody. Have a good one, and hopefully I will uh, be less busy and can get more TTM videos out. Until then, bye-bye.